Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad, at Instagram at Movies TV Mad 4, and on TikTok at Movies TV Mad XXXX 4Xs. You got that. So we need to find out more about Barry Coogan, or however you actually pronounce his surname, because I don't think this is a spoiler anymore. He played the Joker in a very short scene in Matt Reeves' The Batman. So there's a little article from Variety we're going to read together. Is Barry Coogan the right choice for Batman foe? Spoiler, watch his haunting performance in, in this indie. By William Earl of Variety. Although Barry Coogan is an established character and actor who has put in memorable performances in several high-profile movies such as Dunkirk, Eternals and The Green Knight, it's his brief cameo at the very end of The Batman that could elevate him into a household name. Paling around in Arkham Asylum with the Riddler, Paul Dano, the pair have a behind bars um, gab session about their criminal ideologies which includes Coogan's character mentioning the word clown and giving a very sinister laugh. It doesn't take the world's greatest detective to figure out that this figure, although only visible in profile and referred in the credits as unseen Arkham prisoner, will return to haunt Batman as another incarnation of the Joker. Outside of being Batman's most iconic foe, the role has attracted Hollywood royalty, earning Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix Academy Awards for their dark performances. While the Joker typically is played by outsized A-listers, including Jack Nicholson, Jared Leto and even Mark Hamill in a fan favourite vocal performance, Coogan might strike moviegoers as a bit, a bit of a wild card. I agree. I was very surprised when I heard he was going to be playing the Joker. I wasn't exactly happy about it. But fear not, anyone familiar with Coogan's work in a disturbing 2017 indie will know he's an inspired choice. And anyone new to his performances should check it out immediately. That film is Yorgos, La Fimos, haunting the killing of a sacred deer. A small scale thriller about a Murphy family led by Batman co-star Colin Farrell and Nicole Kidman, tortured by a young man named Martin Coogan, who enters their life through mysterious circumstances. The film is filled with many disturbing twists, but suffice to say that Coogan is a haunting villain full of blank expressions and pitless stares. Even the most distressing moments, furthermore, his views on justice and morality are resolute, but slippery to both the Murphys and the audience. Martin's DNA is so in line with the peculiar lawlessness and mystery of Ledger's Joker, that this film could practically be canon, an origin story of a supervillain in his early days. Even the small physical nuances of Coogan's acting, odd gestures and movements while starting, walking, staring, walking and even eating spaghetti would make this performance pop off the screen as the Joker. As for the exact future of the character in this new Batman series, it's uncertain as director Matt Reeves recently spoke with Variety's Adam B. Vary about how the scene was not meant to specifically tease the sequel, but rather show the texture of Gotham's underworld. But Christopher Nolan said when Commissioner Gordon or Jim Gordon shows Batman the Joker card, he wasn't meant to bring Joker into the next film, which was bullshit then and it's bullshit now. I never was trying to say like, hey, guess what? Here's the Joker next movie. Reeves said, that was never the idea. The idea was more to say, hey, look, you know what? If you think that trouble is going to go away in Gotham, you can forget it. It's already brewing. It's already here and it's already delicious. Sample the killing of a sacred deer trailer below and watch the whole film on Netflix if you want to marvel at Coogan's performance. So one thing is clear. Barry Coogan or Keoghan or how you say his name is a brilliant actor. I knew of him. I knew of his stuff. This is a great performance they're talking about. It isn't an issue about him being a great actor. It wasn't an issue of Heath Ledger being a great actor when he was cast. And we all said, do what? You know, the broke back mountain guy. That's the problem. But of course, every actor plays differently in each film. Doesn't mean they're a bad actor or they're a wrong choice. 
But I think even, you know, critically acclaimed other directors questioned Christopher Nolan on that casting. Clearly, Chris knew exactly what he was doing. And clearly, Matt Reeves knows exactly what he's doing here. Barry Cohen will be a great Joker. And he will be around, either in a prequel uh, HBO Max show or in the next movie. He's here to stay. There's no question about it. You don't put Joker in a movie, even for a few seconds, and introduce him for no reason. But this is typical Hollywood speak. I'm not saying he's going to be in the next film. Chris Nolan said that he had no plans for Joker in The Dark Knight. But he was in The, jo he was in the Dark Knight, right? So it's double talk, right? So we're getting a Joker. And as I said in my previous videos, in my previous lives, it's no good saying, do we need a Joker? Yes, of course we do. With the Batman, there's the Joker. With, with the Batman, there's the Riddler. You know, Harvey Two-Faced, a lot of them. You may, have just, you may have just seen them like a decade ago in The Dark Knight, but we want them. We need them. We need this. We want this, right? Just like that audio on TikTok. So this, for me, this is great. And even though I was resistant to this casting before I saw the test screening and I said, oh, my God, oh, my God, you know, why are they casting him? You know, I really wanted Joaquin Phoenix to reprise his role in this universe. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. But I have also discussed that this may not be the Joker. This could be one version of a Joker, right? This could be a Joker copycat. There could be another Joker out there that this guy has copied. We simply don't know enough about Matt Reeves' vision for this universe to, to clarify that this is the main and real Joker. But I suppose we do need to suspend this belief and start to accept that Barry will be the Joker and that Barry will do a great job, that I'm sure he will. This scene, of course, should have been an exciting shot. It wasn't, thanks to Barry's brother getting bladdered and just releasing it on social media. Welcome to the new world. But it's a great scene, by the way. Although I wasn't overly enamoured on the laugh, the dialogue was very, very clever, really, really joke from the comics as well. I really liked it. And so here we are. What do you think about Barry Keoghan being cast as the Joker? Do you think he's the Joker? Do you think he's a copycat? Do you think he's one of many Jokers? What do you think is going on here? I think he's one of many Jokers or a copycat. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. This has been Movies TV Mad. I am Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss this perfection. And I'll see you later on with even more Movies TV Mag, where we talk about Doctor Who, DC, anything you want me to talk about in entertainment. As long as I am aware of it and I know about it, I will do. I will be back live tonight. Until then, goodbye, au revoir, I'll feel the same.